Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenra, and today we are playing Byzantium in Europa Universalis 4. We have way too many vassals, so we're going to go ahead and try to annex two of them as soon as possible, probably Croatia and Karakoinlu. In the meantime, we are going to continue feeding provinces to our other vassals here in India, because we have uh, some land that they should own. I guess we could convert this and then sell it to Madurai. It might be too far away, but I don't know. Uh, I guess let's find out. Let's go ahead and convert it. We'll find out. We'll sell Rajkot to Kandesh as soon as they core this one, which is still progressing. Uh, we have a big problem right now, and that's Hungary has no army. Well, they do, but they're stuck in, in India, and they don't know how to get them home because the AI is dumb as rocks. So instead of getting them home or deleting them or building a new army or whatever, they're just going to leave them in India. Because that's a good choice, right? And because their army is stuck in India, they're just going to let rebels do whatever they want. Like Krakow just spawned from Hungary. Now, I wasn't paying attention, or else we could have changed, we could have fixed that, right? But since I wasn't paying attention, I mean, that's the problem. When you have vassals or personal unions, you have to police them. They won't police themselves. The AI is retarded at hunting rebels. So, you have to do it yourself. And I should have remembered that, because now we lost Krakow. Well, Hungary lost Krakow, but considering Hungary is ours, I feel like we lost Krakow. Discovering more of America, that's fine. So how goes the coring here? Okay, they're done. Wow, the AI cores so fast. All right, come back from Croatia real quick. Let's sell them Rajkot. There you go, my friend. Enjoy. Uh, this one will sell to Madurai, just so we can get it done more quickly. Uh, you can just keep on hunting rebels, but um, yeah, that's fine. And we need that. <laughs> Diplomats take forever to come home. Forever. Oh, there we go. Hungary is building three units. Whoop de fucking do. Uh, they still have their main stack over here. I don't know why they're suddenly building three units, but whatever. Build three units, Hungary. That is your goal today. Three units, boss. I'll get on it. Okay, back to Croatia you go. Still going to take some time. Several years for Croatia. But Karakoin is almost there. Probably have to send them another gift, because that gift is going to wear out. We'll see. Religion's almost done down here. Very good. Goes so fast. Join the Navy, I guess. Where's the fucking Navy? Oh, they're down here. Join the Navy, Mr. Gallius. And we can tech up our... Uh, Diplotech. Do I want to do Diplotech? As soon as our admin tech finishes... So there's a good question for you guys. Um, tell me what we should do with our next idea group. We're about to get an idea group. It's literally going to be next month, right? Okay, two months from now we're getting an idea group. We already have Religious, Offensive, Trade, and Expansion. We're falling behind in Diplotech, which is not the end of the world, but it does affect our income. Uh, the next options available will be uh, either Economic, uh, Diplomatic, Naval, Aristocratic, or probably or, or Defensive. So what do you guys think would be good? Economic, Naval, Diplomatic, Aristocratic, or Defensive? Tick tock, 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 tick tock. I see two for aristocratic. I see two for naval. I see three for naval. I see one for diplo. Oh, you mean just any any diplo tech? Okay, one for economic.
Aristocratic, two for Diplo. Inflation's bad? Inflation's only 4%, it's not that bad. <laughs> uh, Naval will help out trade. Diplo will help us with an extra diplomat and more relations, because we're currently over our relations limit. So that'll help with that. It also make it faster to integrate people. Aristocratic, uh, you get cheaper tech by 10%. You get a diplomat, you get some leader bonuses. Uh, defensive would be just morale and stuff like that. And economic would be lower inflation, uh, more tax, and production efficiency goes up by 20%, and cheaper units. Land maintenance goes down by 10%. <laughs> okay, let's do Diplo then. We'll do that. So instead of wasting our points on the next Diplo tech, we'll just save them up for the Diplo ideas. Gotta keep an eye out um, June, July, August. August comes around, we need to um, we need to tech up, get our bulbs. Yeah, Aristocratic is good as well. Right. In my first three LPs, I took Aristocratic in every single one of them, just because it was useful. Oh, lose stability or lose diplo points. Well, how how much does stability cost? Uh, a lot. So we'll just lose the diplo points. Man, that sucks though. All right. So Hungary is safe. We are we are keeping Hungary safe. There we go. Diplo goes in. Knife goes in. Guts come out. Knife goes in. Guts come out. And we're gonna do our first idea from that tree is another diplomat, which is fantastic. We desperately needed that. Uh, let's see if we can... Is this done? No, we're not done yet. Let's see if they'll buy it even though it's not done. No, no. Sell province that. No. What about you guys? Even though you haven't finished coring that other one. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, if you'll take it, that's fine. We'll just have a big vassal over here. Thank you. And I guess we can just leave them alone. They're probably fine. Just leave them to their own devices, right? Good, good, good. And new diplomat, we can start doing more relations like Baluchistan, Afghanistan, you know, whoever. Uh, Zaporozhye we're probably going to keep around for a while because they can take all these Tartar territories, including territories from Russia. Russia has a lot of Tartar. Look at the Tartar map. Look at that. All of that can go to Zaporozhye. So we'll probably give them like five or six more before we um, annex them. Including Crimea down here. Yep, Russia took Crimea. Oh, Russia. They're fighting a war. They're losing to Denmark, but they're winning a war against the Golden Horde. Is Norway your bitch? Yeah, Denmark has Norway in a PU. Well, that didn't take long, did it? That did not take long. Are you still in the coalition against us? Yep. So we got to get France out of that coalition. Uh, okay... Lose prestige or revolt risk goes up for one year. I'm okay with revolt risk for one year. Uh, revolt, where was that? Logwat? Where the fuck is Logwat? I simply don't know. Oh, apparently we are. Oh, over there. That's no, okay. We're almost there. It's too bad the holy word causes belly just disappears, right? Local tax goes down by 10%. Who cares? Who cares? Alright, let's do some expensive... Oh, unique buildings. University tech cost goes down permanently. Nice. Put the university right in the capital. Oh, we can't. Oh, we're, already, we're doing a farm estate there. When's that farm estate going to finish? It's almost done. Alright, we'll wait until the farm estate's done. University has to go in the capital, right? Come on. January. Oh, it's right. We have a diplomat. <laughs> I keep forgetting we have a fourth diplomat now. It's crazy. Uh, Afghanistan or Balochistan? Probably Balochistan because, um, yeah, just get them up. Not embargo. Relations. There you go. And we'll have to set Sind as our enemy of enemy as soon as we start the integration of uh, Croatia or Karakoinlu or whoever. Whomever. 
Croatia's going up quickly, very nice. And Car Coin Lu, we're at 177. We're almost there. One more year. Or a little less than a year, actually. Yeah, we'll get an end of the month bonus. So probably January. January will be the day. And it's been cored. Madurai has cored it. So the revolt risk is now zero. It's the right religion, right culture, and it's cored. Same thing down here. Revolt risk is pretty much nothing. Now this one's got a lot of revolt. Oh, there goes Cathawar. We have a claim on Cathawar. Um, we should probably just declare war on them right now. So get out of Balochistan. Be like, what's up, Cathawar? We got a claim. I'm going to take it. I'm just going to sell it to my vassal. Why not? <laughs> really? They just spawned, and the first thing they do is they enter a coalition against us. Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> they just spawned. They just spawned. They just spawned. <laughs> that is retarded. Okay, back to Balochistan. Whatever. I'm just going to pretend that didn't happen. Nothing happened. Nothing to see here. Nothing happened. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. How are we doing up in Hungary? Any revolts? Nope. Oh, and he actually has a stack here now. Good. Maybe we'll leave then. I'll just leave you alone. I'll leave you to your own devices, okay? Mm, we should probably come down here and help out this army. You could have some big revolts down there. Who knows? And you can go over there. That is fine. All these things are fine. Let me check on our trade nodes, because there's a good chance they're going the wrong way. Nope, he's going the right way. And he's going the right way. Okay, good. Just making sure. Wow, we have so much income. Okay, we're done. Let's build the university in the capital. 5% cheaper technologies until the end of the game. More farms, very good. Everyone likes farms. There we go. It's, oh, colonists. Oh, that's right, we have colonists, but we can't use them. Well, I guess we could. We could come down here to the Maldives, right? Sure, why not? <laughs> what could go wrong? Colonize the Maldives, and then we'll get the, these guys too. We'll just get all the colonies around here. Although we can't explore anything. Okay, next month. Next month, we're doing this, baby. There we go. Come on home. Small gift. And then an X. Come on. Okay, we are now annexing Car Coin Lu. Finally, that didn't take too long at all. And Croatia's actually going real fast. I approve. And Savoy lost a lot of land to Bohemia up here. And France. You guys aren't allies with France, are you? No. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there. There is a coalition against France, but for some reason Bohemia's in the coalition against us instead. Oh, crap. Who you have as your enemies? Poland... Hungary and Saxony. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to put Poland as an enemy, right? Wouldn't really hurt. You guys can group up. You're on Hunt Rebels. Good, good. You guys are probably fine. There's no revolt risk here. Yeah, it's going to be fine. We'll just leave them alone. They can do whatever they want. Come on, boys. Let's go home. Home, home on the strange. Come back here. Oh, I already have an army going down there, don't I? Yes, I do. Then, where should you go? Um, you know what? Come up here, and then we'll figure out what to do with you from there. I have no idea. And Hungary is just leaving his army down here for whatever reason. He's like, I'm hungry. Right? Something like that. Pretty sure that's what I heard. And, yeah, 
Apparently I wasn't paying attention and Poltava revolted. Well, that's what happens when you don't pay attention, right? Oh, there we go. Coalition. Coalition. What is it? The French Conquest of Kutch. So France has gone for the same mission to claim this area. If we take a look, if we click on France, and we take a look at their diplomatic, they have claims all over here. It's the same mission that we have, right? So both of us have claims all over this shit. Oh, and Britain. Britain, us, and France. We all have the same thing. So now it's a coalition war against everything. Bohemia, Naples, France, you name it, we're at war with it. 155,000 infantry, 90,000 cav, 5,000 cannon. Uh, time to fund the troops, I believe. And uh, how are we doing on troops? We can actually handle another 100,000 troops. I don't think we need to build them, though. Uh, if anything, we're going to pull back everyone toward... Uh, you can go to... I don't care. Let's go meet up around here. If we can form a defense somewhere around here, we'll be fine. I'm not sure about his fleets, though. That might be a real pain in the dick. Oh, Timurids are in this coalition, right? Uh, what What is valued in this war? Kutch is valued. So as long as we hold Kutch, which is here, and we have 11 guys on it. My vassal's already there. I'll, I'll put my army there as well. As long as we hold Kutch, then we're going to win the war, because we're going to have 25% war score for that, right? So that should be fine. Um... His navy is down here kicking my ass, and he does have large navy there. Yeah, we should just dock up our trade ships. All you guys come over here. We'll send our navy out to fight. I'm even going to get an admiral, because why not? Go fight. Fight, 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 fight. And, uh, yeah, we'll keep our army... We'll keep our armies centralized. But yeah, this is a big coalition war. Big coalition war. And Sindh is in it. Yeah, all the... All the uh, nations over here are in it. I don't really care what they do, though. But this is a good opportunity for Hungary to get his army home. Because he can. <laughs> Doesn't mean he will, but he can. Oberoda did not join the coalition war against us somehow. I don't know why not. Uh, get out of Balochistan. I'm actually going to go annex Baroda right now, because why not. Um, but yeah, this is this is going to be a big one. That's what she said. Why don't you get your ass up here? We'll just get all our armies to one spot. And uh, the trade ships should probably group up somewhere. Go to Sinai, Sinai, whatever. Uh, are you trade ships? No. Alright, let's go Sinai. And the six boats of justice can meet up with these boats of justice. Good. More transports. I guess the annexation of Croatia is going to have to wait. That's fine. I don't, really care, I don't really care what they do. They are not going for any of my provinces over here. They can invade all they want. Uh, we'll let them come in, and then we'll go smash their armies one by one. Whatever they have, we can defeat that. That's not a problem. The problem we have is uh, our tech is a little bit crap, right? We're at tech 21. Francis tech 17? Okay, never mind then. That's probably not a problem. I don't even know. Tech 17. Why is their tech so bad? Uh, reinforce speed. Well, there's nobody for morale, so I guess we'll just go for reinforce speed. That's fine. And uh, that should be okay. I don't think I really have to worry about India. My vassals can handle that. <laughs> they really, can. especially Croatia down here. He's pretty badass. All right, Croatia, are you Eastern or Western tech? You're Eastern. Damn it. I thought he might have been Western, but he's not. Oh, well. Um, everyone's moving? Nope. Come over here. I want all my units right there in the Levant. And let's unpause. Let's watch this absolute rape of this navy down here. <laughs> here comes my navy. Do -do 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 117 ships. You're dead in one day. All right, everyone group up. I'm just going to bulk up my entire navy right here. And let's go attack whatever. What do they have for a navy? Um, they actually have a better navy than we do. Hmm. But I'm not sure where it is, right? Who knows where their navy is? Let's go fight whatever this is. They're going up here. Cool. They'll be trapped. Oh, they're already fighting. Great. Great. 
Oh, they're gonna they're gonna delay me in the Ionian Sea with five galleys. It won't matter. Our, our navy should just destroy them right away. Let me slow down time to the speed three. Okay, there's the fight and <laughs> well, that's not gonna be much of a fight. Done. Next. They're gonna just get trapped up there now. They're just chilling. They got they got no fear of us. Look at this. No fear. I think you should be afraid. Just saying, that's that's a lot of ships that you're fighting. And Croatia's like, yeah, dude, let's go do it. Come on, Croatia. Get in here, it's fun. Nice. We destroyed that entire fleet. We even stole a large ship and a transport. Lovely. So now what do they have? Still a lot. And Portugal has joined. God damn it. Really? Yep, Portugal is allied with France, I guess. Yep. God damn it. Well, whatever. Um, we should probably heal up everything, so just go to Corfu for now. Just heal up. And our armies are coming. Very good. Should be fine. Small navy out there. Big navy there, but I don't know why I would care about their navy. Uh, you don't need to hunt rebels, dude. Or, I mean, you don't need to patrol your trade thing right now. Yeah, all the boats should be docking up. So it's all naval so far, and we're doing really well. I don't really care what Naples does. I wish there was a way to force them out of a personal union. You know, like, assuming we win this war against France, it'd be great if you could force them to release Naples. But they won't. You can't do that, right? It's not a frickin' option. Let me take a look at the peace deal options. Uh, you can't force them to get rid of their treaties with Naples. You just can't. You can't force them to get rid of their vassals. You just can't. And uh, we could force religion on them. Oh my god, that'd be great. An Orthodox France? Can you imagine? I'm just going to dream about that a little bit. But we do need to end this episode here, so thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. Come back next time, where we will find out what we want to do in this war. Most likely to sit on our ass and destroy armies. See you then. Have a good day.